Lighthouse Point, an exclusive community, six miles outside of Boca Raton, Florida, lined with large mansions, pristine beaches, and home to La Bistro. After studying at top Michelin star restaurants throughout Europe, Andy Truesdale met and married the love of his life, Ellen. Come on, give me a kiss. See ya. See you later. Andy and I met in St. Thomas at the restaurant that he was executive chef, and I fell in love with his food. It was love at first bite. I've worked in a chef in many different areas, in big hotels, small hotels, little restaurants, and I can run rings around anyone, anyone. Tired of working for other people, they moved to South Florida in 2001 to fulfill Andy's dream of opening up a restaurant of his own. Good evening, the Bistro Restaurant. Can I help you? Hello. Ellen and myself decided to buy a restaurant because she obviously tried my food. She realized how dedicated I was. And I'm very on the ball with everything. Hey, what's that shit over there? Get off the shelf. Get that off there. Andy is not only a chef, he's a creator. Don't forget my apples. You need apples cut, three nice rings. I would really say he's a master at what he does. And if I didn't think my husband was a brilliant chef, I would not be in this business with him. Alan. I'm right here. Table 14 is ready for the entree. I'm going to run this now. There seems to be a lot of wealth in the area, but for some reason, the People that live in Lighthouse Point do not seem to appreciate Andy's food. Andy, they didn't want it, they don't want anything else, it's too dry. The problem is he thinks he's perfect, so he really don't like it when people send back the food. Steak is grizzly. Get the fuck out of here. That's beautiful beef tenderloin. They're a local customer. I don't give a shit. They were in here the Alex, other night. this is your fault. You sort it out. My food's perfect. I've worked long and hard and paid for the right to have what I want. Be quiet. Whether people come and like it, love it, or hate it, it's my business, it's my reputation, it's my food. I'm the chef, and I'm the owner, and that's what I want. I really wish I knew what the major problem with Le Bistro was. I can't say it's the food. Of course, I can't say it's me. I don't believe it's my staff. I just don't know what the problem is. Be happy, don't be, ugh. It's a bistro, it's fun, it's upbeat. Right now, I can't keep up with the debt. And I don't know where we're going to get the money to pay the debt off. It's going from bad to worse. For the work and the effort and everything we're doing, everything we've put into this would definitely not benefit anything. If this restaurant closes, the last thing I want to do is go and work for some idiot somewhere else. I hate idiots.